Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my 11th update for my Pam Not palette for 2024. We are at the last update for this project before the finale. Still not sure if I will do a separate finale for this project, or I might just tack it on to my project pan, because not sure there's going to be a whole lot more after this. <laughs> I feel like the most progress is right now. And if you see a little, a little pipsqueak back here, I did introduce her in my project pan video, I think. I think that's the one I introduced her in. Um, this is Wanda, my current foster, and she has officially decided that the couch here is hers. Didn't take her very long. <laughs> Took you or quite some time. Um, it's funny just seeing her there because Luffy, like again, Luffy was immediately drawn to sitting there. So I don't know, it's a very comfortable spot for the littles. So let's get started with this update. So the way I have done this, uh, I am doing this with the Fantastic Ladies, with the what was it? Fun size palette is the theme. Of course, I make it a little more difficult and did two eyeshadow palettes and three face palettes. So the first eyeshadow palette that I've been working on all year is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Dolce Vita palette. I have been using this on and off. I don't really know what the progress is going to look like on this. So this is what it's at right now. I'm definitely not hitting pan in these two shades. Like <laughs> We're just gonna abandon that thought, but I'm pretty sure in the shade I've expanded the pan at least a little bit. Um, we'll see in the side-by-side -side if that shows up. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I've played with it a few times. I feel like I've decided that I am gonna declutter this palette. I don't love it, but I think I want to depot this shade if I can because it would be nice to finish out a shadow because I do feel like I, I did really well on it and I could finish it out. I've also contemplated depotting this shade. I have to see what it looks like with my other shades in my collection. If it is too repetitive with my other singles then I won't depot it um, but if I feel like it's unique enough I will. It definitely is a unique shade and I did talk about what well, really matches my really matches my hair right now. I think that's maybe why I like it. Um, I've been wearing this a little bit more instead of the brown. That's a nice softer look for a day-to-day -day wear at the office. So yeah, that's, it's kind of, it's actually quite pretty. Um, I've grown to like that shade. It definitely, I feel like too, like with these shadows, um, they maybe like had a little bit of, like you kind of have to work the surface off a little. <laughs> Um, and they seem to have gotten better as I get through the shadow, which I find interesting. Um, but overall, I'm pretty unimpressed. Like for the price of these palettes, I'm super unimpressed with them. I don't recommend them. I do have the Pillow Talk one, which I think is better than this one. Uh, but I feel like you can get that same vibe from like ColourPop shadows if you want uh, and save a heck ton of money. <laughs> so yeah, so we are going to declutter this one at the end of the year. But again, I'm going to keep picking away at it. Um, oh, that didn't sound really good. I'm going to keep using it here and there uh, before the end of the year. It is very bright. There, maybe that's a little better. It's feeling a little washed out there. Um, so so last month this was 53.23 grams. It's now 53.01 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.22 grams. Um, again, I don't expect to see a whole lot of movement on that after this update. And the next one is my little pixie duo. I just think this is the cutest little thing. I would love more eyeshadow palettes like this. Can we get more, more like this? This is my vibe, but I want it to be like cheap <laughs> as well. Like it should be like less than $10 for something like this. I paid $3 for this because it was on sale at Winners or Marshalls. Um, this shade's called Orchid Ornament. I've actually never seen these in store, so I don't know when they did these. <laughs> um, but I've never seen them like actually, and I don't know if they were like for a particular line. It was just a one-off. Maybe it was part of a kit. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to maybe hit pan on this lighter shade here. It's it's not going to happen. I've definitely like worn down the purple shade because they were both, they both kind of, they're not baked, but it had like, you can kind of see it there in the purple. It had like a little bit of definition. It kind of stuck up a little bit. And I feel like I've worn that down a bit more on the purple side. So, you know, I've definitely got use out of this over the past couple months. Maybe not a whole lot, but I'm glad I did play with it. And again, I, I will probably wear this maybe a little bit more than the other palette. It's hard to say because the base shade in this one is super easy. I sometimes just throw it on before I like decide what I'm going to do with the rest of the shadow. Um, but this works really well with the single shadow that I have in my project pan. So that's why I feel like this could get a little bit more use. But I might end up playing with that shadow 
with the Too Faced palette that's in my pan that, no, no pan that's behind. <laughs> so this might go by the wayside. I don't know. I'm trying to set your expectations low is what I'm saying <laughs> for the finale of this, if there even is one. So last month, this was 13.02 grams. It's now 12.99 grams. That's just a teeny tiny difference of 0.03 grams. And then next up are these little face palettes. So the first one is the bronzer palette. I am wearing all three face palettes today, just so you can kind of see what they look like. This one I'm sort of ho-hum about. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Um, I think I did pretty good progress on it. I was trying to hit pan on this shade. I'm still going to keep plugging away at this one, but maybe not super hard. It would be nice to hit pan on this, but I don't, I can't tell how close I am. <laughs> like I thought I was close, but I'm, I'm clearly not. So we'll see how it goes, but this one is going to get decluttered at the end of the year. I don't like it enough to like try and keep it. I thought about maybe like depotting this all and mixing it all together into one bronzer, but I have enough other bronzers that I actually like using. So it's not really worth it for me to keep this. So last month, this was 22.63 grams. Now 22.34 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.29 grams. Next up is the blush palette. So again, the blush that I'm wearing today. And for these, both the bronzer and the blush, I just kind of swirled, <laughs> swirled around um, all the shades. So I think, well, we'll see what the side-by-side -side shows, but I think the pan in this palette has gotten bigger since my last update uh, fairly steadily. It's been easy to grow that pan and I haven't really <laughs> bothered to use this. Like I haven't purposely tried to expand that pan. I probably could have had a bigger pan if I focused on this. This palette's definitely a no-go for me. I don't like it. Out of all three of them, this is my least favorite. I am definitely not going to keep it. I have no desire to keep it. I don't think there's anything useful in here. I have so many other blushes that I like so much better. I would say the one thing that's useful about this is it's very light. Like, <laughs> very light. It's very non-existent. Um, and like, if you're not a big blush person, it would be kind of nice. I mean, it wasn't bad. I can't say like I hated it. Um, but it's my least favorite out of all three of them. So last month, this was 21 grams. Even it's now 28.81 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.1, 0 0.19 grams. And then the third palette in this little trio is the, what they call the illuminate. So it's basically the highlight palette. This has been my favorite. <laughs> surprise like sleeper palette um because I you know you swatch it and it's like not super impressive again it's the highlight that I have on which is very subtle but I think I like that's what I like about it it's very easy to wear day to day I have been mostly wearing this day to day and this is really the only reason why I want to do the finale is because I want to finish this out so we are so close I'll just show you close up because you can almost barely see that little sliver right on the side there so we're very, very close to finishing. And we actually, I'm pretty close to finishing this one too. I, I thought about like repressing them together, but we're going to just like, it's so such a raw dog it. We're just going to like triangle at this and try and finish it like oh natural, not repinning re or repressing. Um, I don't think I'm going to have a problem finishing this. I've been kind of digging away at that one and trying to finish it. This one might be a little trickier to finish, but we'll see how far we get. Um, and I can see myself keeping this, particularly for this white shade. Um, so I like to keep a white shade around because I do like to use whites to repress with other uh, products to lighten them up. That's most, like, usually what I need to do. <laughs> I rarely ever need to darken something up. Um, the gold I could do without, but I'm probably going to keep this just for this shade. Um, so I can use that to repress. And I feel like I might do a little bit more repressing next year. We'll see. I, I haven't really thought... I will repress if it makes sense to repress and I can definitely see myself doing that next year um, because I think repressing sometimes helps me focus on a product that I'm going to like. Like sometimes you just need to mix something together that's what you want and that's how you get it done. So last month this was 22.6 grams. It's now 22.24 grams. So in total for these three little palettes, I've used 5.42 grams, which is almost using one palette. <laughs> so they are 5.8 grams each. Like these are... I underestimated these tiny little guys that probably cost me about 10 cents each. Um, well, maybe maybe a quarter each. So, I mean, I can't, I've definitely got my money's worth on these. I can't complain. Um, and, I mean, I've done a couple videos on these. I almost bought, they did have a kit there that was at Walmart when I was there the other day, and I almost bought it. It was a big one, too. It had, like, three big palettes in it. It had, like, eyeliners. Like, it had a ton of stuff. And I was just like... I'm not ready to do that again yet. <laughs> yes, these things have stuck around for quite some time. I bought this one. Do any of my stickers? No, they've all fallen off the back. 
this was either 2018 or 2019. I bought two kits uh, one year and then another one the next year. I think this was the 2018 kit potentially. So yeah, they've stuck around because they've been fine. They've been good quality and I haven't had a real reason to let them go. Um, and that was the reason why putting them in this project this year because then I could like really feel like I've used them and you know, are they worth to continue to keep around to finish out? And that that's a no for these two, but a yes for this one. So yeah, that is my update for my Pan That palette for 2024. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure I will do a finale update. And if I do it, will it occur in December? Will I just drag it out <laughs> January? I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, but you'll know when I know, basically, because <laughs> I will decide at that time if I want to post it or film it and post it or not. So anyway, if you like this update, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.